Hey guys, um, so this is a, a really uh, random kind of video, um, but it's a topic I've been wanting to talk about um, for a while now, and it kind of has to do with that certain things are really only scary to a select few people. Um, certain things really just strike a nail with some people in the horror area, and certain things don't, you know, um, and one of them, I... I love Black Box TV, and they came, and they finally returned on Friday, so I was like, oh, cool. And so I kind of started watching some of their old stuff, and then I never really, for the Halloween Urban Legends collaboration, I never really liked the Slender Man one. I thought it was kind of, uh, it, it's lame, in my opinion. And I'd never heard of Slender Man before. That was the first time I ever heard of it, so I found out uh, about Slender Man in, like, November, or uh, how, around Halloween um, of 2011. And then I was like, well, you know, why don't I just give it another chance? And I started watching it, and then I, I got bored. And then, But I saw the Slenderman things in the side, and I never really knew what Slenderman was. And so I watched uh, these videos on it, and it is one of the most scary things I've ever heard of. And I'm not even, like, shitting you right now. Slenderman really scares me. Um... <laughs> Like, it's, like, watching these videos, I'll put them in the description box. Like, I know I'm a little late for um, Marble Hornets, but, like, I actually have chills right now. And watching all these documentaries and stuff, it's it's really has scared me. Like, and being a horror movie fan, and I'm sure you're probably a horror movie fan too if you're watching this video. Because it's, you're, in, you know, if you're a fan, you're in, the, in that demographic, I'm sure. And... If you've seen a lot of horror movies, I've been watching horror movies for so fucking long that nothing scares me anymore. Like, and, you know, not even really things in real life that much either. But, um, for, for movies, no, nothing scares me anymore. And, um, although one movie, particular movie that I will get to on, um, this whole, like, certain things strike a nail with people, and I'll use that as another example, um, then, uh, that goes hand in hand with Slenderman. Um, that, um, you know, like... I just, we, if you watch horror movies, like, things are just not scary anymore, right? And so this, it's, I've never been scared by anything in a while. Um, and so it's, it's a weird feeling. And although nothing has scared me, I don't think quite like Slenderman has. And, um, and I, I think I can understand why a lot of people don't like horror movies because they don't like that feeling of scaredness. And I, I'm not enjoying this right now. Like, that's how much this... This is really freaks me out. Like, the certain things strike a nail with some people. And I'm going to give you a better example because if you're a horror movie fan, then you're probably not, you don't have to, that doesn't necessarily mean you're equipped with Urban Legends, which is what Slender Man is. Um, but you probably know the Blair Witch Project. The Blair Witch Project scares the shit out of me, and I don't know why. Watching it, I get chills. Like, the Blair Witch Project really freaks me out. It really strikes a nail with me. I don't know why. And if you ask, and you may think, well, you, you know, I mean, Blair Witch Project, oh, like, you know, you're, you scare way too easily, like, that movie, like, sucks, whatever. See, that just goes hand in hand. Like, certain things just scare some people, and certain things don't. Like, certain things strike a nail with me, and for some reason, the Blair Witch Project just did, you know? And so, that maybe is probably a better example for the horror movie fans. Um, and Slender Man is really frightening, in my opinion. Um, just... Like the shape, he's like a spider human, and it's it's really freaky. I actually had to I, I walk my dog every night, and I had went outside, and I saw something moving in the back of my eye, and like this happened like twenty minutes ago, and so I saw it, and I actually yelled it loud. I was like, oh, <laughs> she scared the shit out of me, and it was just the flag we had outside our house, um, and that I actually tried to call my friend too because I honestly do not want to be alone on that walk because I'm a teenager aren't I you know I, I'm in Slenderman's demographic <laughs> so I was like walking around and so and she like it went straight to dial tone the call and I was like oh god like this is some freaky shit and then I just got on my iPod and I just started listening to like the happiest kind of like stupid music I had because I, I don't know, like it, this really just scared me. And sightings of Slenderman have reported in like the 1930s. And you can even find old photographs that he's in that um, allegedly are from the 1980s before they had like Photoshop and stuff. 
And so, I mean, I'm saying alleged because, I mean, they could just be made to look like they're in the 1980s, but if they were taken in the 1980s, then that they didn't have Photoshop back then. So it, it's really freaky. Um, I don't know. And also, like, I always, my mom, she keeps our lunch. I bring lunch to school. And in her room is where she keeps all that shit, like, in her closet. And so every morning, it's, like, it's dark because I wake up early for school. And so, I, sorry. <laughs> and so, I'm sorry. Ugh. And so I wake up and I go into her room to get the food. And these past two weeks, I, every time I went, I've gone in there, I've felt, like, a weird presence, like someone else was there. I know that's really, really weird. But, um, like, you know, and so I just don't like going to get, like, it's just really weird. I feel like someone else is there. Like, you know, maybe it's the Slender Man. <laughs> and then also, I, my favorite song is Brothers on a Hotel Bed by Death Cab. Um, and so I, I always have kind of regarded that as a song I'd want to listen to before I die, like the last song. And I don't listen to Brothers on a Hotel Bed that often because I, it's my favorite song. So I just kind of like to keep it special, you know. Um, it's like you don't eat your favorite food every night, right? Um, so, but I've been listening to I've been listening to it a lot lately, and like I said, it's the last song I'd want to listen to before I die. So it's just kind of like I don't know, like I know this had nothing to do with each other, but it's really weird. And Marble Hornet's scary as shit. Like I don't know if that's fake. I just found out about this today, like probably an hour ago. So I honestly don't know what to say. Like I don't know if it's real. I watched the introduction video and a couple of the um, uh, the couple of the the clips, and the interviews actually use Marvel Hornets too. Both of them did. They're, it's really freaky. Slenderman is really scary. I don't know why. It just strikes a nail with me. Like like I said, the Blair Project just freaked me out. Like it, I don't know why. It just did, and this just freaks me out too. I, I don't know why. I think. Um, I think maybe what scares us, like what deeply scares us, that's kind of like our own unique thing that scares us. I think maybe I have something to do that's um, psychological. You know, something kind of deep within our minds that maybe we can't explain. Um, or at least it... <laughs> at least that would be um, hard to. Um, but, yeah. Um, I don't know. And state standardized testing is tomorrow. I don't know if I'll sleep tonight. I know a lot of guys thinking like maybe like oh pussy like <laughs> I don't know but I don't care if you say that um, because there's certain things that probably scare you that don't scare me that I could say oh that scares you like and I used to be like that oh like that scares you but um, when I kind of realized like well Blair Witch Project scares me and I kind of had this epiphany of like certain things really just scare some people you know like I watched that with my friends Blair Witch Project like my brother and he's like that movie's stupid and I'm like dude like I'm like <laughs> like <laughs> clutching the pillow watching it um uh so yeah i don't know um so if you guys i'm gonna put the links into the videos that i watched um if it's late at night and you scare easily i wouldn't recommend watching them it's oh my god it is it, it's scary it is really scary like and urban legends aren't scary at all like urban legends are not scary like Bloody Mary and like and like Lenora and all that shit they're not scary but this one is like oh my god Slender Man is fucking creepy like I can't even stress it like I still have chills running through me like this is like oh my god he and he's the most he's like the scariest creature that I've seen like of like an interpretation of like something like a monster let's call him a monster like, it's the scariest thing that I've ever, like, seen of, like, an interpretation. Like, nothing is that scary, in my opinion. I don't know why this has scared me so much, but it has. I think I'm scarred. I'm scarred for life. And I thought, I didn't... But if you could extrapolate maybe on what Marble Hornets is, or, like, what... And, and then just comment to me what, what's your view about um, Slender Man and all that shit. Um... And also comment too. I want to know more about like what scares you guys, like things that you find scary that not that you've kind of realized a lot of people don't find scary. Like mine too, our Blair's Project and Slenderman. Because I can maybe think of like three movies, Blair's Project being one of them, that have genuinely frightened me. And 
this and the Slenderman story is... Oh my god, it's it's really it's really freaky. I am not gonna lie. So <laughs> I'm like, oh god. Um sorry I look like a mess. It's pretty late. Um yeah, but yeah, and if you could inform me about Marble Hornets, it's been around since two thousand and nine, but I guess all the clips were two thousand and six, but yeah, so just tell me um what you know about it. And if it's real or if it's fake I usually like to think when I find things like that, I'm like, oh, it's real because it's more fun to live in a world. Like, I believe in ghosts, but not on, like, um, a profound aspect of that. I believe in it just because I think it's more fun. I, I, I think it makes life more interesting. I live a pretty dull life. Um, not much goes on. So I just kind of think that there is something else here with us, you know, I think is interesting. Um, and I love the show Ghost Hunters, <laughs> um, which I do believe is real um, because I debunk a lot of stuff. Um, <laughs> but that's a whole other story. But, and so, when I was watching Marble Horn, I was like, oh, this is real, but then I realized how creepy it was. Um, I think the only way I should, I'm gonna get over it is that if I say it's, if, if I say it's fake. Um, but I don't know. And I sleep in the dark, too. Um, don't think that's happening tonight. I don't know, this, this has really scared me. Um. Marble Hornets, and, like, the, it's really freaky. Like, I'm not, I shit you not. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Bye, guys.